On a brisk early morning in 2007, a Tuchan user was outside in Shinjuku. Passing through an alleyway behind a hospital, not another person in sight, they began to hear something unusual. Singing, described as beautiful but weak and haunting. The poster ultimately concluded that the singing was coming from a courtyard of some sort at the back of Keio University Hospital within Shinjuku. With how early in the morning it still was and how dark it was because of that and the eerie sound of the voice, the poster said they ultimately fled. At around 5 a.m., they made a post on Tuchan sharing what they had heard. The response and events that would follow catalog this post in infamy. Let's discuss why that is. Kanagawa, Japan, 1967. A baby girl was born, named Sachiko Kamachi. Her father was a driving instructor and the girl experienced a relatively peaceful childhood. As Sachiko grew, she thrived in all of her pursuits. Fellow elementary school students recalled her as beautiful, popular, and athletic. On top of this, she also had a great deal of musical talent, playing piano since she was only four years of age. After pursuing track and field in middle school as well as tennis in high school, Sachiko graduated and moved to the small Kanagawa city known as Atsuki. It was here where she attended Shoin Women's College and graduated. After graduation, Sachiko was hired at a real estate office within Atsuki, leading an adult life as peaceful as her childhood, distinctly removed from the fast-paced lifestyle of the entertainment industry. That is, until one fateful day sometime in 1988. This was when one of her clients happened to be a representative with Stardust Promotion, one of Japan's biggest talent agencies. Sachiko spent the remainder of the 1980s taking up a wide range of modeling gigs, among the most interesting being her time as a karaoke queen. basically acting in footage that played on screen over a karaoke track. She was also what's known as a racing queen, and was also featured in various videos showcasing her as a model. In 1989, she was given a minor acting role for the drama Shunto. <laughs> During her time modeling, Sachiko met a man named Daiko Nagato, a prominent music producer. Nagato saw a great deal of musical talent in Sachiko and felt her true potential wasn't lived up to in the modeling world. This was when Sachiko received yet another important offer. And she accepted this offer, and with accepting this offer, she ultimately changed her name to one that's better known throughout Japan today, that name being Izumi Sakai. With this decision, the now Sakai also decided to conceal her true age. Her true 1967 date of birth wasn't to be shown on any profiles moving forward. It was instead listed as 1969. Because so many entertainers and idols in Japan start very, very young, Sakai likely felt that her being even slightly older would make her less valuable in the industry. While sad, the entertainment industry in general just favors those who are younger. That very next year, in 1991, Izumi Sakai would join the five-member musical group Sard as their lead vocalist. And from here, Izumi Sakai's fame skyrocketed. However, despite her newfound attention and massive fame throughout Japan at this time, she remained humble and very private. Izumi Sakai was also noted to be quite shy. <laughs> Following the breakout success of Zard's first album, Goodbye My Loneliness, Sakai very rarely made TV appearances. During the handful of appearances she has made, most notably on the show Music Station, she's seen not wearing makeup and wearing somewhat casual clothes. Not really a big deal, but many people took note of it at the time. When not recording music, Sakai was often spending time with her family, notably assisting her parents in funding a full home remodel for them. In general, Sakai was just seen as a kind and humble person, often treating those she worked with with the utmost respect. It was Sakai's reserved way of life and very rare television appearances that ultimately fueled an urban legend. 
As I said previously, Zard technically consists of five members. Those members being Izumi Sakai, Fumihito Machida, Kosuke Michikura, Hiroyasu Hoshi, and Kimitaka Ikezawa. Despite this, Izumi Sakai was primarily the one who showed up on the album art and who had the most screen time in music videos. This led fans to think that she wasn't the actual vocalist. Because of her beauty and lack of public appearances, like some kind of Milli Vanilli situation. However, looking at her sparse TV appearances and live performances, they say otherwise. <laughs> the new millennium began, Zard remained very popular and prominent throughout Japan as a musical group. However, it was also around this time when Izumi Sakai's health began to deteriorate. It was in 2001 when Sakai began seeing a doctor for various issues related to her uterus. These are believed to be fibroids and endometriosis, two very painful and debilitating conditions. Sakai was able to continue her career pursuits, even beginning to branch out with solo work, though it was in the mid-2000s when her health began deteriorating further. This was when Izumi Sakai was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Around this same time, it was learned that the illness had spread to her lungs. It was also around this time when Sakai began an extended stay at Keio University Hospital to receive treatment. Despite the grim news, Sakai was observed by family, friends, and staff as incredibly optimistic in her ability to get better, continuing to make plans for her solo album. Sakai was often seen taking daily walks around the hospital and going outside to meditate. Another thing many people witnessed her doing was singing. One song in particular that many recall her singing at this time was Make Naide, a song made for Zard. The translation of the phrase Make Naide is don't lose or don't give up. This brings us back to that early morning Tuchan post, one that seemingly preceded tragic and significant events. And now with your news in brief, the female lead singer of the pop group Zard, Izumi Sakai, has died after falling off a hospital stairway. She was 40 years old. May 26th of 2007. Sakai was discovered behind Keio University Hospital by a passerby at 5.40 a.m. Sakai was brought to the hospital's emergency room and was unconscious. She never regained consciousness again. Izumi Sakai would pass away surrounded by family one day later. The place she was found at that morning was her favorite spot to meditate. It had rained heavily the night before, and Sakai likely slipped and fell when walking outside. The passing of Izumi Sakai was officially announced on the 27th. However, seemingly at 5 a.m. on the 26th, the following post was made to Tuchan. Hey, someone is singing a Zard song. It's in the plaza behind the hospital at this time. Which hospital? Are you in Shin Okubo as well? Yes. Keio University Hospital. The voice is beautiful, actually. It's weak, though. It somehow feels hollow. Almost as if it could disappear at any moment. It's... scary. With the news of Sakai's passing, a screenshot of these posts were spread like wildfire. People were enamored with the knowledge of what Sakai was doing in her final moments of consciousness. If her final words were the lyrics of her own song, her own music, and the last thing she ever did was sing, then this was seen as almost poetic amidst the tragic news of her ultimate passing. It made sense, too. People often saw Sakai singing to herself within the hospital, particularly the more uplifting songs. This truly showed that Izumi Sakai truly loved being a singer at its core, not about the fame of it all. But, as with most things given life on the internet, the more attention they get, the more people will find faults within them and make sure to share these faults with others. And the faults within this post, well, they certainly began to pile up. The way the poster spoke was a bit dramatized for one, as if they were making the occurrence more creepy than it actually would be in real life. And that's not all. You see, the screenshot was everywhere online, but nobody could track down the original post on Tuchan itself. To elaborate a bit, Tuchan adds these cheeky little titles to the poster's number to show what board the post was made on. While users are anonymous, they get a number and this title. 
The title is visible in this screenshot. It basically says, anonymous person taking a walk. So, to clarify further, every post on this board would be anonymous person taking a walk, but the number is different. This poster was anonymous person taking a walk number 602. These titles are never this specific, and no forum exists that gives the user this specific title. Following this discovery, it wasn't long before the truth behind the post was made clear. Yep. As anticlimactic as this whole Tuchan ordeal is, this whole thing was falsified. Made to become a famous Japanese kopipe or copy pasta. Nobody ever saw Izumi Sakai singing behind the hospital. It was just a tasteless ploy to spread a fake rumor. And it's now among Japan's most infamous copy pastas. As far as who made the image itself, we don't really know. Tracking down the very first use of this image is possible, though. And despite many knowing it's fake now, many people who saw the news saw this copy pasta and just believed it was real and moved on, believe it's real to this very day. There are still many people out there that believe Izumi Sakai's final words were the lyrics of her own song. Regardless of these urban legends and online gossip, Izumi Sakai is remembered very fondly. Many feel that Sakai herself was Zard and that her herself was the embodiment that made the group what it was. Many feel that Zard died along with Sakai. If you're not familiar with their musical works, I highly recommend checking them out on Spotify. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. Hello everyone, it is I, Sakura Alex, coming at you live from my bedroom floor. I am very much in the middle of moving right now and was unable to go ahead and do the whole on-camera shout-out thing right now. I cannot find my tripod. But if you're new here, I do once a month this thing where I shout out my patrons and I do it either on camera or through the microphone verbally, like right now. But yeah, things are really hectic and busy for me right now and a little stressful, so hopefully we'll get that on-camera shout-out thing going back again in the next video. Anyways, a huge, massive, tremendous thank you to Vector Graphics, Bill Baker, Gina Britton, Luke Brown, Pigpen, Layla Bloom, Hinsvar, Josue Santana, Lizard Queen 27, Newt Newt Fruit Shoot, Henry Costanza, Echo Costa, Questra Otto, Angry Oyasu, Hexmaniac Hana, Chitoge, Daniel Tellez, Mars, Nova Snow, Jeremiah BLR, Dakota May, Mothic Permanence, Adela Lilith, 322-322-32, Theron Skymere, Chumpkins, Jaded Elf, Armando Duran, Rora Morasso, Ella Stracitella, Lena SD98, Berserker Kong 02, Ellie L, Nikki, Flo Ami, Pada, Ashley Rigby, Meek, Nicholas Bobinu, Mercedes Slaughter, Beebles 32, Sidnep, Eli Roca, Life on Mars, Greedy Guts 78, Lilia Grasso, Metal Mario 64, Courtney Von Schriltz, Misol, Dr. Money Dollar Sign Dollar Sign 69, Nicole Turkowski, Alice Rose, Akali, Anna, Sophia Gillespie, Megan Nicole, Vonnie, Mike Master, Judy 18, Red Hoodie 50, Felix Gonzalez, Alan Achondo, Momo Buns, Mr. Anderson, Michiru Oji, Otonia, Angel Pena, Iggs, Ilio, Brandon Tran, Andrew Valencia, Eels, Dude Bro, Jalliser Plays, Beastman Manor, Merotichi, Aurora Phoenix, Lauren Marcello, Lilycat, Merlin Caliber, C Chameleon, Jean187, Digital Dubs, Omar Ruedas, Coffee Red Fox, Raz Cohen, Shivam Vashi, Daniel Barrientos, Pan Fried Life Jacket Awareness, Nicholas Allen, Stagio VGM, Adam Mitchell, Joka, Anegdra J. Reese, Donut Brewit, Leon X8, Teofo Zeta, Christopher Valencia, Hilari, Erica, Justin Fuda, PP Pass C, Katag, Quetzalcoatl FC, Andrew LaPena, VHS Vich, 
Air Fire, Grand Tactician, Good with a Stain, Kevin, Jojo, Orlan the Dog, Soko, Jordy Kirk, and last but not least, be shown in knife. Once again, thank you so much, everyone, and please feel free to let me know on Patreon if I pronounce your name incorrectly. I sometimes I'm not 100%, and I apologize for that. But yeah, see you guys in the next video.